Hey y'all, this is the Moon Gypsy. And several of you have asked about progress on the garden. So I wanted to show you what's new. How things are going. This is my witch's pot. And I've had, I did have five plants in it. Five different plants. And I had to take some of them out because they were just growing everywhere and flooding some of the other plants out. So I'm going to show you. This is the pineapple sage. It's growing fabulously. And it's decided it wants the pot for itself. There's the basil behind it. It's towering. And there's some garden sage. That's what's left inside the pot. I took, took everything else that started out in there out. And put it in other places in the garden so it would have room to grow. So, down here is some basil. I started that from seed. And then we have the marigolds. I keep uh, critters out of my garden. They don't like the marigolds. And those are some crystals that I got from Missouri. Over here, some more basil right there. And right there, they were both started from seed. This is the sorrel that was in the witch's pot, and I moved it out so it could uh, have more room to spread. These are the bee balm or bergamot. They're new to the garden. Uh, they were really small when I planted them and they are just growing crazy the bees love them the butterflies and uh, hummingbirds also love them as well these are the calendula plants that were started from seed they're growing very hardy i got them from baker creek seed in missouri over here is the fairy section. There's little fairies hidden in there. It's hard to see them. Now my marigolds that are here have grown crazy. That's a shot of them. These are two different kind of thyme. One is lemon thyme. And I don't remember what the other one is offhand. But both of them are thyme. Then there's my frog sunning. We just had a summer rain shower here that just ended a few minutes ago and the sun came out. So I thought this might be a good time to come out here and film before it got way too hot. Here's some rosemary. It's growing. Um, it was really little when I first planted it. It's getting quite tall now. We have rocks in the garden. There are crystal rocks from Missouri as well, but I put them in here because the butterflies like to sun on them. So I always put some kind of rocks in the garden. Bring you over here. That's some chicory planted right there. There's some more in another spot I'll show you. Some of the zinnias. This is butterfly bush. Let me see. Go over this way. The butterfly bush right here. The butterflies absolutely love it. It's a lavender color. Uh, some of it needs to be picked off so new growth can come on, and I'll do that in a minute. But I wanted to show it to you. Here's the Provence lavender, it's doing well. More chicory all right here. Okay. This is part of the back side of Esmeralda. She has blooms. I want to show you. There's just buds and blooms all over her. There's lots of blood uh lots of 
buds right there. Just all throughout the bush. She just blooms amazingly. So down here is the chamomile with my little rabbit. This is a different butterfly bush and when it has the blooms on it, it's a raspberry color. Let's see. Right there. This, where am I at? Right here. This one is the sapphire salvia. And I'll take a shot of it from the front in a minute. The bees love it. The butterflies love it. And the hummingbirds love it as well. Over here we have my blue gnome that was a Mother's Day gift from my, one of my sons. More calendula. There's rosemary behind him. There's my little son. Okay. Over here, this is new to the garden. It was really small when I planted it here and it's just took off crazy. It's uh, the pink verbena. And I planted this for my aunt who passed away several years ago. That was her favorite flower. So I always try to honor her and put a verbena bush, verbena plant of some kind into my garden to honor her. More calendula. Some zinnias. Uh, this is yarrow. It's kind of growing crazy. Part of it grows straight up, and the other part of it likes to lay down, but it's not broken. It's just spreading. That's the paprika uh, color of yarrow. We'll get some more white to put in there at some other time. That's the sapphire salvia right there. It's, a, it's getting tall. And that's what the flower looks like. Again, the bees, hummingbirds, butterflies, they love it. And it's really beautiful in the garden. I want to show you, okay, this is the curry plant down here. It used to be in the witch's pot, but it was getting took over by the other plants. So we've moved it out here and it's grown quite a lot. This is also new to the garden and I just love them. They're solar lights. Uh, this one is the dragonfly. Let me come over here and show you the other one. I scattered them out through the garden. I got them yesterday. I was so excited to get these. This one's the butterfly. And this one's the hummingbird. And what's fantastic about them is they light up and they change colors. Uh, they're all solar. You don't have to worry about trying to plug them in or how you're going to get electricity to them. But they change colors uh, like red, green. I think there was like purple and yellow in there last night. They looked amazingly magical out here in the garden. So uh, they are on my shopping list to get more. They come three in a box and I got them from Harbor Freight. So they are on my list. If I could show you this, there's a real dragonfly. Whoops, he flew away. I'm not going to be able to show you. The real dragonfly buzzing around my flowers right now. Uh, he's enjoying it a lot. I'm going to show you some other little pocket gardens that I decided to do. Uh, my dogs wouldn't appreciate it if I tore up the whole yard. Because if I had my choice, this whole yard would not have grass. It would all be plants and flowers and all things magical so I've decided they wouldn't kill me too much if I just got in the corners of the yard besides this bigger space right here so I'm going to show you a couple places in the yard um, some of them are just dirt right now but I'm going to show you what the vision for them is 
and I'll turn around and show you. So we're going to walk over here. This is in a small, small corner of the yard. It's got a really ugly fence that was here when we bought here. Uh, we'll change that out in the fall to a privacy fence, but right now that's just what the neighbors already had up. So I cut this space out. Let me show you. Cut this space out right here. And the only thing growing in here right now are moonflowers. Let me show you. Right now it's just a vine. These are the moonflower vines. And what's going to happen is they're going to grow all the way up to the top of the fence. And then the flowers, moonflowers only open in the night. So they're very magical. You don't notice them in the daytime, but in the nighttime, gorgeous white flowers come out. My neighbor had them last year and she let me seed save off of hers. Here's another one. And then here's another one right here. So all three corners of this, once it uh, matures and gets up there by, by the end of summer, they should be all the way up there and flowering. So they'll get on all three points of this triangle right here. So the vision for this is going to be an actual moon garden. Um, eventually I'm going to put white rock all in here and some fountains and all kinds of lighting and all white plants. So this is one little pocket garden in here. Then this one is the memorial garden. It's just the start of it. Uh, right now it's just this circular space. Uh, the fountain somebody had put out in my neighborhood on the side of the road. They didn't want it because it had little broken pieces. And a little chipped up here and there. And I thought it was fantastic. Uh, first of all free. Second of all holds water and the birds love it. Uh, we keep it full for the birds. I change it out every day for sure and sometimes twice a day to give them cold water. Um, that benefits the birds and it benefits me as well because I love to see all the cardinals and blue jays come into the yard. Uh, they help with the garden. They help with the bugs and all of those kind of things. So that's what the idea of all these little gardens in my yard is. Uh, I plant them for nature as well as my well-being and when you plant the garden it sure helps with your mental status uh, and any healing that you need to do working in the dirt uh, and whatever so this is the memorial garden this is Mexican sage that's in there right now it only has the one little flower on it they're normally this is where the flower is, but they're normally a really nice lavender purple color. Uh, they don't bloom so much in the summer heat, but they do blow, uh, bloom fabulously in the spring and the fall. The problem here in Texas is we didn't really have spring this year. It went straight to fall. Uh, not straight to fall. I wish it was straight to fall. It went straight to summer like it feels like it's August here and we just now hit June the first part of June so um, here's my little other little angel out here now eventually I will get the white rock around this as well and there'll be other uh, angel ornaments out here in here and some more plants this is the start of a yellow jasmine I don't know if you can see it and once it matures, uh, we're going to put it like an arbor over the top of, uh, like an arch, I guess, over the top of the fountain for the jasmine to climb. So there's that one. Then this is another corner of the yard, and my husband took these pallets and put up here for places for the plants to climb. And down here, our morning glories two different colors and as you can see they're doing what they're supposed to they're starting to climb up and once they do they'll be beautiful here next year probably today uh, this year I'm gonna leave 
the wood just natural color and when we paint the house and everything in the spring or the fall then we'll come back and I will probably paint these lavender color because my house is going to be sage green and lavender trim so this garden needs some work on it it's got some weeds in there um, and I will get that that to that today probably but I'm going to show you a couple things in it there's some iris in here but this is the this is the couple things that I really am so happy about being in here um, I didn't show you these before because they were seedlings but these are velvet queen sunflowers and they finally got tall enough that probably in the next month they might be flowering they're like a rusty velvet color or what they will be so we have a few of those next year i plan to have a whole bunch of different kinds different varieties of the sunflowers right here let me show you is a passion flower vine and it will grow up this uh, set of pallets that we made into a fence trellis uh, for things to climb on so that's going to be where that is got some tomatoes over here once they mature i'll show you what they look like uh, one other spot there here's another spot of morning glories glories over here and they're going to climb up this fence i don't have the weeds pulled around them yet because there's so much vine i'm just mowing to the outside of them so i don't cut down the vine um, but they will grow up that area right there as well so they have an area to grow this is along my pallet fence that we made here um, which I've showed you in other videos. You can use this to do all your magical workings out here. I have some of my crystals. These are natural crystals from Missouri out here and some of my moon shells from the beach are out here right now. This little owl goes on the pot. And that's the echinacea. Finally started to uh, grow I planted that from seed as well so this is the yellow echinacea I'll be happy to see what it looks like when it starts to flower hopefully pretty soon that's my hose all stretched out because you know you got to water all of this stuff so back over here to the garden I might take you up here and show you on my porch a couple things let me shoot out here and show you this since I'm showing things <laughs> this is my deck okay it's 50 foot across just nothing spectacular to anybody else but I sit out here and I can watch the garden from here so I have 50 feet that I can decorate we didn't do it last year it was too hot too much sickness in the house uh, didn't have a chance to do anything there are lights that they're lights that we put up there for in the in the night it will light up the deck um you know kind of magical but i'm going to be buying new ones and we'll be taking all those down uh, we're going to try to make it like a fairy wonderland a magical place to come out to so i'm just recording this so we can see where we start with on the deck this is just an old um property we got it for basically nothing and so we're doing work on it a little bit of a time and it eventually it'll be what we want it to be so right now it's in the construction stages on the inside the whole house has been gutted out and we're remodeling and redoing but here's my little area for my ivies uh, as you can see it's lighted up and right now there's a little plastic bowl to water them. Let me move that out of the way so you can see the whole thing. So we have the, the candles, the hanging uh, glass candles there so you can light that up and make it a magical experience. You know, ivies are protective. 
Uh, so that's why they're out here. And these were all started from a little cutting. And look how big she's got so far. This is just probably six months from a cutting. And she's grown like that. This is another one from a cutting. Just a little cutting. We put it in water. And they like their spot out here. And then this is a different type of ivy. So this is my mandible. Uh, they're more of a tropical plant. The hummingbirds love them. My dogs are going to bark now because they're crazy. Uh, but it's the mandible. It started out in a hanging basket and it's got that big now over one year. That's a really huge pot um, that it's in. So if you look at the back of the deck, you can see about the size of it. I'll get a little closer so you can see some of the flowers on it. The hummingbirds just love those. And it will, it will trail and, and climb. Um, if I put a trellis back behind there for it to climb in, I just haven't done that. What else am I going to show you? Hmm, this is shot from the, you know, backyard when you're sitting on the desk. Oh, let me show you this. We're in the middle of painting them. I don't know if you can see the color. This is an ice cream parlor table and chairs. It was white. And we started painting it today. This is the lavender color that it's going to be. Um, it's not done painting. We're not done painting it yet because... It started to rain as we were in the process of painting it today. Uh, but that's the start on it. And then here's my big aloe vera plant. That started out as a little bitty four inch pot. And now it's pretty big. So this is the start of what we're planning to do here. I know friends and family have asked what's been going on. What are you doing? Um, and you know everything takes time and everything takes money and a healthy body and sometimes we don't have those so especially the healthy body or the money uh, so we're doing things a little bit at a time this is what's been done so far this is the progress here this is a very healing garden in front of me uh, there's many herbs for medicine in there uh, I probably won't add any more plants to this garden this year. We're going to go ahead and get all the lights and um, other garden ornaments and rocks and things put in this year through the fall. Then when we put the garden to bed, we'll probably only plant the witch's pot um, with mums in October. And then for the cold, colder months in Texas, which would be January, February, we'll have pansies probably in the witch's pot and everything else will be put to bed until the spring so we're going to be working on the lights and working on um, getting the different statues and things like that put in instead of putting too much money in the plants right now then in the spring we'll come back and focus on just the plants so anyway that's an update on the garden that's an update on uh, what we're going to be doing to the back deck. Uh, we're going to be painting and stuff this year. Either in the fall or the spring, we'll be painting the house. Um, all of the deck is going to be, the, the theme for everything is going to be everything magical, everything natural, animals, the sun, the moon, you know, all of my stuff. So anyway, there you go. Uh, hope you enjoyed and we'll talk to you later. Have a happy day and get out in your garden.